42 fortitudes. That's something that back when I was in a master's counseling program, one of the last, I think the second to last class that I had before I was dismissed from that program, um, it was a trauma class. I um, can't remember the full title of the class, but I had to do a trauma. And a lot of the subject matter in that class actually ended up having to do with um, people that had gone through, like, rape, being raped or sexual abuse as a child. I borderline want to say a lot of it was people that had gone through that as a child, like, because it's trauma. Um, but yeah, it was a trauma class. It was a hard class. Um, and in previous videos, probably... I imagine banned from Furco videos because sometime over the course of that, you know, two year long series, but especially that first year, um, I think in the summer of the first year of doing that banned from Furco video project, that's like a hundred videos long. Somewhere during that first year is when I was in that class. So pretty much anything in my life. Um, of substance, I suppose, or interest, and also difficulty was in that, uh, video series. So, yeah, I think I didn't, probably ended up talking about that during that series. Um, and fitting that, I should bring that up. Um, but, in that trauma class, there is an assignment where we're supposed to come up with just different, um, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say practices or different tools, perhaps, um, that a person could use to deal with trauma, um, but I think the goal of this assignment was more so supposed to be, we're supposed to find tools that counselors use, not so much, like, come up with our own, because, I mean, if we come up with our own, those aren't, like, actually, um, you know, verified, um, you know, supported by anything, um, but, um, I think we're supposed to come up with, like, 10, so, or something, um, and I did have some stuff that, I mean, I think I had some stuff that I actually did pick up from, you know, stuff that already exists or whatever, but I think there are also some things I just kind of came up with, or just my own ideas, and one of them that I thought was cool is 42 Fortitudes, and it was just supposed to be, like, I mean, I don't, maybe it was different at how I said it or envisioned it back then, but at least what stuck with me is just 42 things that are just really powerful, I guess, to stand on, you know, just, and I just kind of like, it was, I don't know, it's kind of a play on words, it's just, it's supposed to be 42 powerful things to stand on, is kind of how I would say it now, just 42 powerful things to help you through the difficulties of, to help you get through things, um, so three years later, pretty much exactly three years later, roughly, um, I'm going to do that, um, cause, one, I did anything could happen to anyone this year, and that's huge towards that, that's not like, um, I mean, not that I did it intentionally, towards this, I just, it just is something that could be used for this. My point of doing that, the whole anything could happen to anyone thing this year is, when I did the ban from Furco series, back when I was um, closer friend, friends with Will Friesen, um, now not so much the case, um, and then also a different friend, Karina Stoman, um, those two separate friends, both individually were kind of told, kind of planted this idea of, like, um, making it, because Ban from Furco videos are long, and, um, both of them kind of had, kind of planted this idea of making it more compact, and I believed, and, and to some degree still believe, um, highly in that Ban from Furco, that whole series is, like, has a legitimacy of itself, like, it's not just for me, which is what Will 
Brooklyn said is, is that it's for me, but no, like that's for people too. Like it's maybe it is for me, but it's also, it's definitely supposed to be for people. Um, but they're long, some of them, some, a couple of them, a few of them maybe are short, but a lot of them are long. There's some three hour videos, I believe, um, or at least hours and something videos. Um, I mean, I guess I don't know how many three, yeah, no, there are three hour videos. There's, cause the first three hour video was somewhere, be, was like maybe the 15th video or somewhere between 10 and 20, and that's not the only time a three-hour video happens, so there are three-hour videos, um, and there's some that are, you know, an hour or something, I imagine, too, there's different ranges, but, um, but there, basically, there are some long videos, um, and so this year that I'm doing a video a day that's one of my goals for this year along with reading the book of mormon and also this kind of mini goal of entering contests um but the two biggest thing being reading the book of mormon this year and then um making a youtube video a day that's kind of kind of the biggest sub project in this larger project of a youtube video a day that i've done so far and there's some good content that came out of that and like I said, it's not, it's, this isn't like some fluffy, like, oh, just be happy, like, it does always gear you towards, I mean, I mean, maybe, I mean, I guess maybe you could, you could actually see it like that, but it's not, you know, that person that's just like, oh, you should just be happy, like, no, nah, it's, it is a admitting of like, yo, life can be hard, life can throw this at you, life can throw that at you, sometimes you just feel like this, it, but then, like, but then there could be this kind of thing. Like, it's it's real. It's on some real stuff. Like, because this has been a dark year for me. Just just because I think that's just the season of life. It is. That's just what life brought about. Um. So. Um. So yeah. So anything can happen to anyone was made this year. Um. I also ended up watching the band from Furco series for myself this year. Um, because for every anything can happen to anyone video, I watched a band from Furco video and then made a video that was supposed to kind of take its lessons. Um, or is this was supposed to be, it ended up being that not every video ended up being like a perfect compact, you know, compact, um, you know, a perfect compact form of the band from Furco video, but they were supposed to be like to some degree at least inspired or connected to the band from Furco video that it was echoing. <laughs> and when I say echo, I think of the movie I was in that came out this year, Echo. Not like a large scale movie, but just um, a local um, person made a movie. In 2017, we did filming for it in the summer, and this year, it came out. So, so when I say the word echo, I think of echo. Sometimes that has a special thing in my heart and head. Even though I found out someone else was in a movie too, so maybe it's not that... I mean, it's not unheard of, I guess, for people to be... Because someone I know, I saw someone on Facebook, and they were in a movie too, so here I thought I was special. Anyway, um, but... Yeah, so every so every anything can happen to anyone video echoes a band from Furco video, and it says that in the description. So it'll be like it, it says parallels. It'll say parallels band from Furco, and then it'll say which video. So and they match. So like the first band from Furco video, I would watch it that day, and then make it anything can happen to anyone video. Second day, watch the second band from Furco video. Make it sec make the second anything can happen to anyone video. So I, I myself went through all the band from Furco videos this year. And that was a lot because I had that means I had to watch the three hour videos. That means I had to watch everything. And yo, there is a lot of beauty in the band from Furco series. The only thing when I say like I, I believed because earlier, if you caught it, I said that I believed in the band from Furco series being for everyone. And now and then I said now I like kind of. 
I like I hinted that like now it's like lesser or something. The only thing is that I took notes of things that maybe should like um like edits that I have or things that I thought weren't completely accurate in my storytelling basically. Um and so that's the only thing. But trust, there are some powerful I can at least say that there are some powerful videos in that journey. It's a kind it's a sort of case study that like you just aren't going to see somewhere else. I like it's crazy, like, especially because, like, in starting it, I didn't know that I'd be going through other stuff and documenting my going through that other stuff. Like, there's a lot of difficult stuff that happens. There's a lot of opening up of heart. There's, so, like, like, it's, it's a lot. You're just not gonna have that sort of, um, that kind or level of openness you know, because people can be open, but they're not going to, like, sit for three three hours or one hour or 50 or, you know, whatever the length of the thing. But, like, because all together, um, I have it written down somewhere. Um, I can't remember where. Oh, wait. No, I remember where. I know how many hours the whole ban from Furco thing is. It is... Approximately 73 hours. So if we're talking like a, you know, a Netflix, um, you know, series or something, I don't know how all that compares, but depending on how many seasons, might not, I mean, might even be less than some things out there. Maybe. I'm not sure. But there's some things out there that have like five seasons, so I don't know. I don't know exactly how it compares, but I would say it's worth it. Um... My only concern is that I currently have not, like, I've written down things that I've noticed that could be more accurate, um, or that I didn't think, that I didn't like, or that disappointed me, um, but I haven't put those in, into, um, in whether making a video about it, or, you know, in the comments of said band referral videos, and for me, like, I'm a perfectionist, so, like, I say that as if, like, there's all these things. It's mainly, maybe it's just, like, a few things. That, it's just that I expected it to be perfect, I guess. Like, I thought very highly of this. So, like, there. to be honest, there are moments um, before, before I think, I, th- I want to say, whatever video is called The Playlist, um, which I think is the 19th video, before that, there were, um, that, like, there were moments that, like, exceeded my expectations, like, I, like, I was, I, like, to the point, there was one point that I was, like, why am I even alive, like, I've already done something better than I'm going to do, like, I was, I was, like, what is the point of even, like, especially this being, like, a year of darkness, like, and me feeling, like, not the best version of myself, like, seeing what I was, just where I was, like, I was like, why am I even, like, I should have just, I should be done, I should be dead, like, I've already done that, but then the 19th video, or whatever video is called, the playlist came out, and that video was also great, but then there is a point where, and to a degree it's to be expected, because it was handling, like, weird territory, um, that, that threw me off in something that I said, but the entirety of that video was actually powerful, and, like, also of a good, high level, it's just that I got to a certain subject, and I just, I was just, I didn't, I wasn't happy, I wasn't, I was kind of disappointed with, like, how, like, what I said, or, like, how it went, but at the same time, in reality, especially at the level of openness, and, like, not filtering, or not blocking, I especially, and especially when I don't have practice in talking in those subject areas, because, I mean, some people know how to say what they want to say, regardless of what society thinks, but, like, if there's certain subjects you don't normally touch, and then all of a sudden you touch them, you don't have practice in talking in that area, so maybe it's to be expected, but then, and then, um, fast forward to, um, like, the 30, um, when it was getting to some difficult, like, just in what was going on in my life, and then me trying to talk about these things, and trying to, like, drive it in, um, there's just some videos that didn't, um, um, that, yeah, that, um, get, that 
I was trying to drive something in, but it didn't sit or, you know, end up being the way that I wanted it to be. It ended up being like overkill. Granted, it was a good exploration on different styles of how to approach a topic. You know, the the, the best one on on said topic was where I just kind of talked and didn't make myself um, talk about it right away and just kind of like, because it was a big thing. There were some big things that I talked about in that series. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's you're just not going to see something like that. I just feel like, as someone who's watched it, um, but being the perfectionist I am, there are certain things that didn't end up being as perfect as I imagined it would be. There are other things that quite exceeded. Like I said, at one point, I was like, why should I even be alive right now? I've already done this. Like, I'm just a shadow of that. Like, um, so there is huge impressing, or huge, um, me being impressed, and then there is also huge me being disappointed because of what all I th thought it was in my head. Um, so anyway, in this 30-something video, so the one where I just let myself talk about other stuff and then and then let it come, that one ended up being beautiful. But then when I tried to, like, I didn't feel good about that. Like, I'm someone who always wants to just address something head on. The video where I just start off, off the bat, I'm just like, this, it didn't sit well. Um, there's probably a way to do that beautifully and strongly, but in my obsession of trying to handle that topic directly instead of, like, beating around the bush, the beating around the bush, actually, because I, I talked about stuff when I was, you know, it was actually, like, trimming the bush or something. It wasn't just pointlessly, you know, skirting around or whatever. So the one where I did directly had to, it was like, uh, hmm. Like, maybe the, the video could have evolved into something good. I don't really remember, per se. It probably did. Because, I, I mean, it probably ended up having good points. They almost always do, I, I would, I want to say. Um, there's a lot of stuff in these videos. So I would guess that it ended up be having, like, at least something. Borderline, maybe I'm just talking out of my butt. But, like, it does just because it started off in a way that I wasn't impressed with doesn't mean it ended that way or in the middle there's nothing substantial because it, I mean, these videos, they're, um, but, yeah, so, and then, and then there's another one is still dealing with that same subject area, so this is all probably between 30 and 40, I imagine, um, I would, I think, maybe, maybe, no, it should be between 30 and 40, actually. Between, like, 32 and 40 or something, I think. Um, th no, th between 30 and 40, because actually I'm including the one that I that I really liked. Um, um, and, then there, so, and then there's another one somewhere between 40 and 50, I think, maybe or maybe it was between 30 and 42, that also touched that same subject area, and again, was too straightforward. Like, me and my obsession to be direct, like I always want to be in life, and I'm disappointed with myself, and it didn't, like, it, the times of being direct just didn't work out. Um, not that that's how life works, but just in that, didn't work out. Because in reality, I think I had already covered it, but I was disappointed that I wasn't direct, but that time that I wasn't direct was actually really great. Um, there's only so something towards the end of that video, <laughs> that specific specific video where I wasn't direct, that I said something that at the end that I remember when I was making all these that I could have taken out because it could, because it didn't, but, but I decided to keep in, and maybe it's okay that I kept it in actually, but that video where I skirted around things, it wasn't direct as I always want to be, was probably the best one. And then any time I'm obsessing over and trying to be more direct, I don't know that any of those per se worked out. So that was another disappointment. Um, and then another one. Fast forward to like, um, either somewhere between 40 and 50 or between 50 and 60. Probably between... I guess I don't know. Maybe the late 40s? I don't know. God's Lightning. 
this was supposed to be huge. This video was supposed to be like, you know, because there are things. It's crazy in this in this series. There's actually like um, seeds almost, not not huge seeds. You know, not like in the way that like the Bible plant seeds and over the course later on you see something or like you know jk rowling and harry potter not like with severus snape not like those level of seeds but like they're they're little there's there are some seeds like that you know that i, I don't know that i've ever done something quite like that there's there's a little bit of that stuff that if you pay attention like is talked about later um and this was supposed to be one of them and it was a, it was like it was act, I think it was actually good. Like I think it was actually fine. And then, towards the end, someone that is supposed to be like a very special character, or spe- like just someone who's supposed to be talked about in a special way or is special, the way that things are said, the person listening most likely in all reality. That per it sounds like I'm talking negative about that person. That was hugely disappointing to me because like, th- like this is me watching this like um, I guess a year since working on anything with the video because 2017, um, even though I didn't do stuff heavily with this series, I did every month work on a wrap towards the final video of the series. The second year was entirely towards the last video, the hundredth video, pretty much. Um, um, mainly working on the raps for it. Um, so, but 2018, you know, I was already done. I, to the, the end of 2017 was when I finished, like, like the end, like right before, <laughs> pretty much right before rolling into 2018, like maybe, I mean, hopefully I'm not talking out of my butt again, but like, or I shouldn't say again, cause I'm being, I'm being careful with what I say, but, um, like, I want to say like a week, I want to say like the 25th, but of December or something, but towards, towards the end, maybe the, maybe it was literally, I don't think it was the 31st, because I, I was going on a trip, um, with my roommate at the time, who I believe owes me like $2,000, um, <laughs> uh, but, um, who I don't see anymore, because I think she's like off in California or something, uh, but, um, but someone that after, even after all that, if I think about it, I think I still, in my heart, think of her as, I mean, we've had good moments, so, we've also had horrible moments, but in my heart, I think she's still a friend, but she still, she owes me $2,000 around, roughly. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, but we were going to, we had a road trip to California and all this stuff, and I think we left before, like, before New Year's. Um, so it was, I want to say, like, after Christmas, I uploaded it on Christmas, I remember I uploaded it on Christmas, okay, that is the thing I remember, because I remember saying something about, this is my Christmas, this is my gift to the world, or something or other, so, it was, like, December 25th, or so, of 2017, that the final video of Band from Furco was uploaded, um, 2018, didn't deal with all that, did other stuff, or whatever, read the Quran, for one thing, 2019, um, um, is when I did this, a YouTube video a day thing, um, and did the Anything Can Happen to Anyone series, which involved watching all of Band from Furco, so this is, like, at least a year, late, like, a year and a half later, I guess I would say, a year and some, um, so, yeah, God's lightning was supposed to be a huge thing, and then I see that. Um, so that, and especially with someone who I was trying to speak, like, that was supposed to be, like, a magical character, like, and is, like, like, just that person is someone that I had beautiful experiences with. Like, before I even met this person, I, like, prayed, and I and I talked about that in one of the Bands for Furco videos, but, like, like, this girl is just interesting, and I just, like, pr- and I, I was interested in her, like, just in a, I mean, I don't even know if I mean, like, interested like that, but just, anyway, but I, maybe, but I, but I prayed, and then, there's a lot of magical stuff that I ended up, I did end up meeting her, like, hanging out with her, or, like, 
like meeting her that day and like just there's a lot of magical things that happen with that specific person like just beautiful experiences and this is the person I'm talking about and to any listener it would seem like when I'm talking about a different girl that I'm talking about that girl um and so and neither of the girls I'm talking about now are to be confused with the main kind of girl or main character of the band Virgo series um who probably who I imagine to some yeah I don't know <laughs> she yeah um but um but at the same time maybe it works because in both Band from Furco and Anything Can Happen to Anyone, in both these series, and one that is an echoing of the other, both of these series have one character that not intentionally of my own, you know, wanting or intentionally doing, that is painted to seem like a villain when in reality they are not that. They are a borderline, I want to say almost a powerful light, if that's not saying too much, like, they, they are quite the opposite, but they're painted by misspeaking of my own as a shadow, like, a shadow character or something, but that actually works well in a certain way, because you have to pay attention, though, because there are ways that, one, if you either just really pay attention, like, to moments surrounding when that character is talked about, or you just look, just read, like, there are ways to find out. In each of these series, there is one, I mean, maybe, maybe there, but there's ones, one in each that I noticed that are painted as if they're basically, like, a shadow or, like, bad or whatever, and in reality, they own some, like, Batman stuff, so... Or at least in either that or, there, or like, just a very, you know, beautiful person or the opposite. Um, and that's also life. So, hence that lesson exists in my series and hence, there you go. So, watch for that. Each series of those two has one of, those, of such characters. At least, but one. Um... So anyway, my first um, fortitude is the Anything Can Happen to Anyone series. Real shit. I don't normally swear unless it's for artistic choice. But you suicidal? You struggling on like... How do I get from day to day? Bro, anything can happen to anyone. These are not hour-long videos. Almost all of them are a minute or less or less than... most. I, want, I think most of them are less than a minute, but I think I can almost... I know there's one of them that's, that's like seven, but in a hundred videos... They tend to be around a minute or two, and two is really say, is more than is because I don't think, I don't think a lot of them reach two. I think it's more like they're around a minute or a minute and a half. I think that's more accurate. Even that still seems like pushing it. They're probably like um, they're roughly a minute, but that seems like saying too low. So somewhere between like, let's just say less than two minutes, and there's a lot of cushion there because a lot of them are not up to two minutes. Now I'm acting like I'm Dante. I'm not. I might be. Um, but yo, real talk, if you are struggling with just life, just anything, just anything can happen to anyone series, like, you, you should get on that, like, they're not hours long, they're compact, they're like a minute or so, there you go, that's accurate, a minute or so. Some of them are less. Um, that's for the philosophical, for those, str str I don't, yo, just that. That is my first fortitude. 
anything can happen to anyone. As I'm dealing with my year of darkness, and also being inspired by the band from Furco series, bam. Oh, and these are the notebooks that I wrote them in. I don't know which one's the first one or the second one, but I... And the second one, I think, hardly got written in. Was this the second one? This is probably the second one. Yeah, this one didn't get it. So it's mainly the first one, which I think is this, which should be full, maybe? Yeah, anyway. Something like that. I don't even know if you could see that as I was flipping through. But, um, yeah. First one, I believe. The second one. This one should be the one that's fuller, near full. Overflowing. I think. Actually, maybe I didn't even fit. Maybe what if there's like a page that's free? Okay, maybe not. And there's also Bad from Furco notes um, in these. Those are where the edits or like, you know, things that I think could have been said better or that are wrong are written. <laughs> 